There's another concept that's very important to understand, and it has to do with the stability of, or understanding the stability of the atmosphere, and it's called expansion cooling. Now, we said that on a standard atmospheric temperature, at the sea level, we start at about 15 degrees Celsius, and for every thousand feet you go up, you lose two degrees Celsius per thousand feet. And that would be standard atmosphere. Now keep in mind, that's not always necessarily true each day. There could be a day where the temperature started at 15 degrees and the temperature dropped rapidly. Maybe it was uh, 12 degrees at 1,000 feet and it dropped uh, another 4 degrees and was 8 degrees at 3,000 feet. And then maybe it dropped to 5 degrees. So this temperature as we measure as we go up, they call it lapse rate. So lapse rate is just the temperature measured in the atmosphere as we go up. And this would be standard. And this one would be non-standard because it dropped more than two degrees Celsius per thousand feet. We could also have a scenario where the temperature maybe started at 15 but then went to only 14, and then went to 13, and went back to 14. And this happens often, we call this a temperature inversion by the way, where the temperature got warmer as you go up in a certain area versus colder as you go up. But this one also would be non-standard. So lapse rate is the measurement in temperature as we go up in the atmosphere. Standard would be two degrees Celsius per thousand feet, and non-standard would be anything else. When we talk about adiabatic cooling, we're talking about forcing air up within this already existing lapse rate. So for example, if we had a balloon filled with air and the temperature in the balloon was, uh, I don't know, 16 degrees, if we force this balloon up, it's going to expand. And as it expands, there's less friction so the temperature will drop at a very consistent three degrees per thousand feet. So if the balloon's temperature started, the air inside the balloon's temperature started at 16, it would be a very predictable 13 by the time it went 1,000 feet, and then the temperature would be uh, 10 at the next thousand feet. And that is due to adiabatic cooling. So you can have an existing lapse rate, but then force air up within that lapse rate. For example, if you had a mountain, mountainous area, and the mountains were here, and the breeze was blowing like this, well, when the breeze blows here, so there's nowhere for it to go but up. So that air would be forced up, and it would cool at the uh, rate of about 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So just keep this in mind, we're going to come back to it in a little bit when we talk about stability of air. But what I want you to take away from this is what lapse rate is. Lapse rate is the temperature measured as we go up. And adiabatic cooling is expansion cooling. If we force air up, it cools at a very predictable 3 degrees per thousand feet. Now it is true that it depends on how much humidity is in this air, but for our purposes, and just to keep it simple, we're going to say that the air cools at 3 degrees per thousand feet. You've seen this in your everyday life if you've ever run, for example, a barbecue grill. When you turn that propane tank on and you let that tank run for a little while, what temperature did the tank appear? The tank temperature started to cool and condensation appeared on the outside. So why did that happen? Because all of those gas, gas molecules that were compressed together you're allowing to expand. As some leave the tank, the ones in the tank remaining are allowed to expand, so it got cool. That would be an example of expansion cooling or adiabatic cooling.